opera Il Turco in Italia, it's actually uh, very much about the moment that we're living in now. It's about a man from the Muslim world coming to the Western world, to Italy, because he's interested in this different culture. He meets an Italian woman. It's about these two people coming together and breaking through the boundaries of their culture. It's really about um, everything that um, our terrible new U.S. President, Donald Trump, is against. The clash of two different, two different cultures and the clash between men and women, the, the struggle between men and women for power, for, for control. Fascinating uh, character in this piece for me is the character of the the poet. It's a it's a man who uh, is trying to come find a, a, a subject for a, a comic play that he's writing, and he doesn't know he has no ideas. But then he he meets the characters in the opera, and he starts to be inspired by what's happening in their lives, and that gives him the inspiration to write a play about all of these people's lives. And in this piece, it's very much about that the reality and the the, the theater come, come together and you don't know which is which. And it's also about uh, this very strong Italian woman, the soprano role, Fiorilla, who's quite a independent Italian woman with, uh, who doesn't want to live by the rules of the, that men create. She wants to be her own person and very free. She's a kind of a feminist sort of a character. It feels like a movie by Federico Fellini or um, Pasolini, these great movie directors. It's all, it's as if the whole thing is set in the, the movie studios at the Cinecittà, for example. Bardzo podoba mi się połączenie wcielenia się w postać Sophie Loren i Marie Callas. Jest to bardzo trudna partia, bo to jest właściwie partia napisana na bardzo rzadki głos, czyli, czyli koloratury dramatyczną. Nie chciałabym, żeby to było odebrane tak jak przeważnie jest Turek odbierany, że to jest taka właściwie lekka opera. To nie jest lekka opera. Ten Rossini to jest kom kompletnie jakiś inny Rossini. Bardzo dużo pracowaliśmy z coachem nad przerabianiem właśnie jaka jest przednutka, czy z góry, czy, czy z dołu, czy taka koloratura, czy my coś skracamy. No nie jest to proste. Дуже велике значення, коли працюєш над стилем Росіні, це вона є з речитативами. В речитативах дуже багато відбувається всього. Наш піаніст, який великим світовим якби світило в стилі Росіні, також дивиться за тим, щоб було стильово. Як для мене, як для диригента, як музичного керівника постановки, наскільки він майстерно написав це все. Що просто треба взяти це ним написане, перенести на звучання оркестру, на співання солістів. І це є найважливіший талант Росіні, який закладений в цій опері.